Hey everyone, welcome to Earth Spell. I'm Kat and I'm going to do a Taurus's reading for September 2021. Okay, this is for the zodiac sign Taurus. Okay, you can have it in your birth chart, anywhere it is in your birth chart, your ascendant sign, moon, rising, Venus, doesn't matter. Okay, if you have Taurus in your chart, this could be for you. Okay, but remember to take what applies and leave the rest. Okay, and this is um, basically all my readings are a timeless reading. Okay, because time is fluid. But to help us out, keep on track, and to help me keep on track, um, I am, my intentions is for September 2021 for you guys, okay? So this is for Taurus. How are you guys doing? Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Okay, and I'm going to get a main energy, or energies, for Taurus Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Main energy, September 2021, Taurus. So we have authority, father, and boss. And the boss. All right. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, we have a partnership. Okay. So you could be um, beginning in a partnership with someone that is an authority, okay? Someone that is a, a, a father, someone that is a boss, okay? And get in masculine energy here. Um, it could be male or female. But I am, well... For the authority of the boss or father, okay. Um, you could be dealing with your father, okay, coming in an alliance or a partnership when it comes to career or something like that, or um, something like that with your father, okay, um, or a father figure, okay. But um, but we have partnership here, so it very well could be um, a partnership in. in uh, with, with someone that is your boss or someone that is a boss or has authority, okay? Right, not bad. I mean, a very strong energy from that, right? We'll pull some of these. All right, for Taurus 2021, September. Let's uh, Taurus. girl with a snake empath and narcissist okay being charmed or used in able and boundaries okay sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting Perception, focusing out. Okay, so somebody can have their eye on someone else, okay, Taurus, in the month of September. They could be looking outside of the relationship, okay, outside of the partnership. And they actually could be looking at the girl with the snake, okay. Um, to, you know, very, uh, a very sneaky individual they could be dealing with. Someone that's trying to charm them. Okay, someone could be trying to charm you, Aries. Okay, you could be an authority figure, a boss, a father, okay? And, um, you know, a business owner, something like that. Someone could be trying to charm you or you're with someone, someone's trying to charm them. They're very narcissistic, okay? And then there's, you have an empath here. You could be dealing, Aries, with someone that is very narcissistic and you are the empath, okay? Um, th that's just how it works sometimes. We don't need to get into all that, but you know how narcissists can be attracted to empaths because, you know, empaths are so willing to help, okay? They want to help and uh, narcissists are, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a therapist. I'm just saying this is, um, anyway. They are drawn to empaths, okay? But at the bottom of the deck, we have twin flames. Yin and yang, okay? Balance, union, duality, coupling at each other. I'm sorry, I need my glasses. <laughs> when you get older, you can't see. Anyways, so at the bottom of the deck, that's good. So we have twin flames here. Woo, so a deep soul connection, okay, with someone, okay? They are the yin to your yang, vice versa. We have masculine and feminine 
here, okay? Things that are, you know, uh, to me, I feel like it is a partnership because we do have that at the bottom, bottom of the deck. Partnership here, okay? The twin flame, the yin and the yang. I, I do feel like there is a union here that, um, you know, they have the duality, the good and the bad. They don't know how to, or the, you know, masculine and feminine. Feminine, I need to slow down, Lola. And, um, you know, coupling and, you know, complementing each other. But I do feel like there could be someone here that is a little narcissistic, okay? It could even be a child. It could even be someone, you know, within the family or someone close to you, okay? That could be um, trying to, you know, charm this authority figure, this boss, okay? Um, but I do feel like someone here is going to uh, set some boundaries or they need to set some boundaries with this individual. So, well, this one didn't come out yet. Yeah, twin flame. There is definitely a twin flame connection here. Okay, and right up under that we have abundance. I love it. Look, and you can just tell they're feeling abundant. Okay, you could have moved, okay, to a new home where you're going to. But um, you, you came, or you are in union with your twin flame here, and you have balance, you have union, you have the duality. Um, but this is the Four of Wands. Okay, so a soulmate connection here, <clears throat> twin flame connection here. Okay, and then you have abundance. So keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So look, you know, just keep the attitude of, you know, abundance, you know, being being blessed, being guided, um, having that gratitude here. Someone is, someone has that, okay? Taurus, you do, or the person you're with, or you both, because I see, you know, the yin and the yang. <clears throat> so what, they just want to pop out. So, so there was a, Judgment here called. There was a decision here made. Someone could uh, be trying to make a decision when it comes to you. Um, there could be a lot of communication coming in or something happening really fast with this individual, Taurus. Okay, so tell me about this authority. This authority figure. Tell me about this authority figure. What is this authority figure? What is this authority? What is this authority figure? The Taurus, father, almost. Someone that is very much in their head, mentally trapped in their head. It's just an illusion that it's not real. Okay, what are they in their head about? What is this Eight of Swords about? What is this Eight of Swords about? Seven of Cups. Someone is very confused. Someone's very confused. They're trapped in the head. They, they actually could be fantasizing here, but or they have a lot of options and they're trying to choose the right one. But be careful because look, we have a snake here. Mm -hmm. There is a snake. And then she has a snake. So be careful. Be careful, my loves. Okay. So, someone's in their head about their options. All right, what's the Seven of Cups? In their head about their options. <clears throat> what to choose, who to choose. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is someone very stable, um, someone very nurturing, someone very loving, okay? Father, mother. And they are focused on material gain, though. They are, okay? But they are loving, they are caring, but they are more in the 3D, okay, is what I'm trying to say. They want happiness here. Can we deal with Leo or they want some clarity? Let me tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. I feel like that is your energy, stable, okay? I feel like there's someone around you, Taurus, that is in their head and is very confused. Yeah, because they're not seeing something, they're not making a decision. Or this Queen of Pentacles, or you're not making a decision, Taurus. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to use your intuition again to make a big decision. 
Okay, and you're trying to have faith and courage. You're trying to have faith and courage to make this big decision or someone that you're dealing with is needing to. And someone here could have been sick or under the weather or, um, you know, healing from a heartache here, okay? Or something that, you know, happened rather quickly, okay? And um, so there is some healing here that is taking place. But you're trying to use your intuition when it comes to um, when it comes to these options, okay? When it comes, or this, or someone you're dealing with is. Okay, let's see, who is this empath, narcissist, paradigm? Who is this spirit or Taurus? Who is this? Yeah, the Queen of Swords. So it could be an air sign, or they could have it in their chart. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, this is someone that has been through a lot, okay, and they want the truth, they want clarity. This, I also sometimes see this as an X, okay, but um, they want the truth, and uh, they, they know their worth, okay, normally this is like, a, it, to me, this is kind of like the single queen here, so there could be an X, in the month of September, Taurus, trying to intrude or cause some confusion when it comes to a connection that you are in that brings you a lot of abundance and happiness. And it, it actually can actually be your twin flame here. You know what I mean? And uh, revolving around your home and your soulmate connection. So someone could be <sighs> intruding, okay, in the month of September and causing a lot of, you know, I'm hearing ridiculous thoughts and um, confusion here. Yeah, and someone here is is not able to, they're holding it, you know, close to their chest. They're not revealing it. They're not, they're not, or they're not seeing it. They're not seeing it. Who is this Queen of Swords? Yeah, the Princess of Pentacles. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, again, it could be a younger Earth sign or they have it in their chart. Okay. Um, one more, the Princess of Pentacles. You may have to draw boundaries with this individual Taurus in the month of September. Yeah, there, there is a decision here to make, whether to offer someone something or not. You're going to make a decision, okay? It could be, um, you could be done with the King of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But they're making a decision. They need to make a decision, okay? Or it could be a younger earth sign with air, okay? This Queen of Swords is sending some kind of message about stability, okay? Or you know, or they've been waiting, I'm hearing waiting, for a decision. Okay, two of swords. So what is this? What path? She wants to know what path are you going to take? Then we have the Prince of Pentacles. Yeah, they want, the, they want an offer of stability here. Okay, and they feel like it's, been, it's taken too long. They want the truth, okay? They want the truth, but there's something, someone here is not trustworthy, Taurus, okay? Someone here is not trustworthy. They need to make a decision, okay? Again, it could be the King of uh, Cups here, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But they're needing to make a decision about giving someone an offer in regards to stability, okay? In regards to, you know, something financial here or something that has just took a long time okay or it's took a long time to get boundaries with this person this girl with a snake here okay that um it's they need to make a decision i mean you know we did see looking outside of the connection let's see two of ones what is this 
So someone here definitely could be offering someone this twin flame connection. The Prince of Wands. Offering stability and sex. Passion. And they're going to make a decision. Coming in quick. Mm -hmm. Definitely an earth sign. You definitely can be done with an earth sign. That is trying to come into a relationship. I do feel like this is a twin flame connection here. Okay. Someone's definitely in their head about what to do. What choice it is to make. Um, I do feel like there is a choice between an ex and a present lover or even a wife here. Or it could be an ex-wife or husband. It doesn't matter. Male or female. What is the two of swords? What is the two of swords? Yeah. Making someone an offer. A stable, secure offer. Giving someone a gift. They're in their head. You know, someone here is getting a gift. It could be anything or a promotion or they're, they're, they're just getting a lot of, um, they have a lot of options. Okay, this could be in love or this could be in career. Take it however it applies. Okay, but they are getting an offer. Okay, and they're going to have to go within use their intuition okay even could they could even be doing something spiritual here yes but definitely you have the heart that has something to do with a commitment here okay and going within and gaining knowledge okay because you want a victory okay someone here could be getting a lot of attention accolades um you know a victory here and something that you've been working on something that you've been you know a victory in love a victory in career there is someone, though, we have a girl with a snake. There is someone here, I feel like, towards in the month of September, that is going to offer you passion and love, okay? Stability. And I'm sorry, not love. I'm not, not really, I'm not saying love. I'm saying they're going to they're gonna come in, kind of like if you're dealing with an Aries, you might want to say Aries, or you can have it in your chart, okay? Someone in the month of September is making a decision to charge in with an offer of passion and stability okay and it could be someone that you've cut off and set boundaries with before i feel like you are presently or or you will be in a twin flame union okay with abundance okay you could possibly be with someone with authority all right they could be a boss or a father anyway someone that is is high up in what they do um, an entrepreneur of sorts, but, you know, they have authority, okay, and someone, I feel like, is going to try to cause some confusion and some doubt and some, you know, what was it, just, um, useless thoughts here, okay, and they're going to, you know, try to make a decision on whether or not to accept this offer of stability and, um, you know, stay in this marriage, commitment, what have you. Um, because someone is definitely coming in and offering stability, okay? And to us, it could cause some sleepless nights, some anxiety here. Um, but I want to get one, I want to see the decision. So someone's making a decision to come in, bank you an offer in you know stability and passion but remember they are just the night okay they are just the night all right i'm not seeing no king here but the man you know the authority father boss that is incorrect energy there i feel but who is why why what why are they coming in why are they coming in giving these messages because they're obsessed. That's the first word I heard, obsessed. This person could be dealing with a Capricorn or they have it in a chart. There's something toxic about this individual 
We have the snake here. Okay, girl with the snake. Girl or guy, it doesn't matter. But they're toxic. They're toxic. They have... There, you know, there's no love here, is what I'm saying. Okay, we have no cups when it comes to this person. There's no emotion. All right? And, and it is. It's burdening them down. It's weighing them down. So it's only a matter of time, yeah. It's only a matter of time because they want some kind of partnership with you, communication with you. They want to come see you, you know. And it, the, there is a choice when it comes to lovers here. There is. And I feel like someone, yeah, sneaky, lying, manipulative. I really feel like you could be dealing with Aries or Aries is in their chart. But... Taurus, I feel like this person is going, they're, they're very manipulative, they're very sneaky, um, and they don't tell the truth. They're coming in for the wrong reasons. They're not coming in for love, okay? They're coming in for passion or um, finances. But I do feel like in the month of September, you are going to have a victory when it comes to um, a promotion even get an attention when it comes to something you've done um, when in regards to work and your finances okay um and also going within and thinking and this could be just gaining spiritual knowledge being more spiritual okay or being in a commitment staying in that commitment this twin flame with abundance okay this twin flame with abundance right here okay and some of you could become your own boss Okay, you could be, um, you could establish some kind of authority here or be dealing with, you know, a father figure, but very much standing in your element and stability. Okay, looking pretty, feeling good, taking care of your family and your stability. But I do feel like someone's going to try to come in and, and uh, mess with your head a little bit. Okay, so keep the boundaries with that individual because, like I said. I see um, they want passion. I see they want stability. Um, I see that they are very toxic and very sneaky. They are very toxic and they are very sneaky. Okay? They are. And all they want is passion. Okay? Passion and possibly your money. So, um, and they're trying to make a decision whether or not to, to contact you or to come in and offer you anything. Be careful with that individual, okay? And um, I'll see you guys next time.